Okay, now let's solve square root of x equals 4. So we need to come up with a number whose square root is 4. Now, one of the things we can do here is say, how do I undo a square root? Well, if you think about things, if I take 3 and I square it, I get 9. If I take the square root of 9, I get 3. So the squaring, if we then square root, we end up undoing the square. Likewise, if I had square root of, of 25, square root of 25 is 5. 5 squared is 25. And so a square root and a square end up undoing each other. So in this problem, I can square both sides of the equation. The square root of... Uh, the square root of x squared, the square undoes the square root and just leaves me with x. 4 squared is 16. We can verify this by checking our answer. If I plug 16 back into the original equation, square root of 16 is indeed 4. This value satisfies the, the original equation, and so it is our solution. Now, in the second one, we need to do the same thing. We have x squared equals 4, and I need to undo that square. And so your intuition is probably saying, well, let's take the square root of both sides, and that makes lots and lots of sense. But we are going to run into a problem here. Notice that 3 squared is 9, and square root of 9 is 3, but negative 3 squared is 9, and square root of 9 is also is 3. And in this case, it's a different value than we had before. So it turns out here that we're going to get x equals, yes, the square root of 4, which is 2. But there is a second solution, because it's also true that negative 2 squared is 4. So we end up with a second solution, of negative 2. Now, it turns out that the one way, one way we can look at this is to say that the square root of x squared is not x. It, that's not true, because if x is negative, this doesn't work. So it turns out that the square root of x squared is, in fact, the absolute value of x. So, for example, the square root of negative 3 squared which is the square root of 9, which is 3, is equal to the absolute value of negative 3, which is 3. So the way that this helps us is that I can treat this problem now as the square root of x squared is absolute value of x, the square root of 4 is 2, and now, just like over here, where we said that the absolute value, if the absolute value of x is 4, then x is either positive or negative 4, here we can say x is either positive or negative 2. That's one way to write it, or we could just write out the two solutions, right? Which are the same ones we came up with just from in our intuition. And so there are our solutions to that equation.